Okay, time to start with this class. Eight o'clock. So it is time to Bien. Okay, Okay, hi Erwin. He was the first one in the class today. Andres, let me say hi to you. How good are evening, you? Teacher. Good evening, Andres. I'm good. You're good. good. I'm really glad to hear about that. Me too, teacher. Okay, there we go. Okay. We already have Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. Okay. Let's wait for your classmates. <clears throat> Let me show you the topic that we're going to have today. This is class number 16, 17, class number 17. And yesterday we were working in this activity. We didn't finish, well, in fact we did, but we didn't read the exercises, the examples that we have in the platform. So class number 16 and 17, we are going to be covering this topic. Uh, later on, I guess in class number 20, 21, we are going to have like a review about this topic, right? So verbs in this case, um, that are followed by either gerunds and infinitive, but they don't change in meaning with no change in meaning. Right, and after that, in another class, we're going to find uh, the same topic, but with other examples, verbs that have a difference in meaning. Class number 17, and this is the topic for today, right? Let's wait for your classmates. I already have eight students in the class. I'm still missing like 10 or eight, eight students actually, right? Let me present the first activity that we're going to have in this class. Remember, the purpose of this class is for you to practice your English, for you to um, learn something different, and also to get to know a little bit more about your classmates, right? Um, but yes, I'm afraid that we are going to have this activity later on because I really need you to have, or at least, 15 students, so we can go ahead and have that activity. So let's start by reviewing about the topic that we had yesterday. Look at the information that I have here. This was the topic from yesterday. And probably this is just like an idea, okay? It's not like a, don't take this like an official information, right? This is, uh, for you to understand and try to give like a definition. Whenever um, somebody asks you about, but what is the difference between an infinitive and a gerund, right? This is just to give you an idea about what can we express whenever we're talking about this topic, right? Or if you want to have a clear idea about this topic. There are so many other ways in which we can um, understand this topic, right? But this is the easiest one. Look at the information that we have here. Let me have one of you reading this information so you can practice your reading skill. Okay, let me have one volunteer.
Okay, remember, try to participate. This is a great way to, of practicing. Just what? Okay, thank you, go ahead. Okay, so all the gerunds and infinitives can often be used interchangeably. There may still be a small difference in meaning. Using a gerund suggests that you are referring to real activities or experiences. Using an infinitive suggests that you are talking about potential or possible activities or experiences. Consider, I like speaking Spanish because it's a lovely language. I like the experience of speaking Spanish and the way it makes me feel when I speak the language. I like to speak Spanish when I'm in Spain. I prefer the option of speaking Spanish when I am in Spain. Okay, as you may see, um, yeah, whenever we're using a gerund, it's a chance that you're referring to a real activity or real activities or experiences, right? So on the other hand, whenever we have an activity, it's a chance that you're talking about potential or possible activities or experiences, right? Real activities, potential or possible activities. I like speaking Spanish. I like to speak Spanish, right? I like speaking Spanish because it's a love language. I like to speak Spanish when I'm in Spain, okay? So probably, yeah, you're not gonna be thinking about this information whenever you're trying to express the idea uh, using a gerund or an infinitive, right? But this is like extra information so we can understand, you know, a little bit more about this topic. Okay, so let's go and review the information that we have in the platform. Let me check section number three, activity 3.2, the examples that you were working in groups. Let me see, I have so many examples here, so many sentences, but for example, this one, I don't know. Oh, this is Freddy's, Freddy's, I guess that. Okay, let me see the first one. Okay, Freddy's, this is Jarvin, Fernando in Lourdes, William and David, and Andres and Jasmine. Okay, let's pick this one first. Okay, five different examples. I continue to learn English on weekends. And I continue learning English on weekends, okay? We prefer to go to the beach on vacations and we prefer going. She hates to wake up early. She hates waking up early, okay? She likes talking, okay? And he likes to talk. Very good. I start to work. I start working. Excellent. I begin to do. I begin doing. Okay. That's okay. That's all right. Let me see. Let's have this one. Fernando in Lourdes. We continue studying. Yeah, I don't have corrections. Very good usage of gerunds and infinitives. Let me check the other ones. I guess these ones, Freddy, she likes to go. He likes telling jokes. I prefer listening to, I hate to see, that's okay. No correction, there we go. So that's también, very good job class. I guess this is not like uh, that complicated topic, right? So first activity, let me show you the first activity that we're going to have. I already have, yes, 13 students, that's okay. So we can work in pairs. First activity that we're going to have, this is a review, a review about gerunds and infinitives. But take a look at this activity. What are we going to have? Look at this one.
Okay. I am going to send a link that is going to take you to this place, word wall, right? As you may see, the topic is gerunds and infinitives, crossword. What is a crossword class? ¿Qué es un crossword? Who can tell me? ¿Qué es eso? Crustigrama, no. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Cross word. So in here, I need you to type your name and your classmate or classmate name because remember that we are going to be working in pairs or threes. I don't know, groups of four, probably. But I prefer you to work in pairs. So in my case, it's right my name because this is just an example. And as you may see, we're going to have, um, well, from five to 10 minutes. So you can go click here and in here, you're going to find a sentence. And as you may see, we are missing a verb in order to complete this sentence. For example, I am missed in the What's travel it? industry. Maybe I can get my old job but so i miss working okay so what are you going to do dice escribe las letras so you're going to start typing it's case w o r k i n g okay so as you may see we have 16 different sentences or examples in which you're going to complete, you know, the sentences using a gerund or an infinitive, right? This is just another way of practicing, um, working in groups or in pairs and having a different uh, activity. You know, this is a different way of practicing. Is it clear what we're going to do in this moment? Questions about the activity? Yes. So yeah. I need you to go work with your classmates and please one of you share your screen so you can easily see the sentences that we have there and you can be reading the information, right? Please practice that because this is um, an easier way of working, okay? Speaking time, I really need you to interact with your classmates. Speaking time, okay? This is a pair or a group work. No es individual, okay? Pair work. Okay. Vamos a enviarles ahorita aquí. En este chat, let me send this link. So go ahead and open it. Me dicen si les dejo entrar. Open that. Can you send it on, on WhatsApp, please? Yeah, Open sure. WhatsApp. Why not? Thanks. WhatsApp. Alguien puede escribir en el chat de WhatsApp, at least hi o algo para que me aparezca el chat, please. Because I have so many groups. I don't think muchos grupos de estudiantes, so it's not that easy to find this group okay there we go thank you thanks okay aquí vamos ahí hay muy bien gracias por enviarlo y compartirlo bien vamos a trabajar groups pairs let me see what i can do And let me say hi. A los que se unieron después, welcome back. This is the first activity that we are going to have. Here we go. David, ¿en cuáles aparece, David? Room number. I don't have nothing. Two and... Tiene dos dispositivos siempre. Yes. Let me see, so let me send you to this one. Mm 
Ok, aquí estamos. Here we go. Remember, speak in time, work with your classmates, practice in gerunds and infinitives in a different way. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, I'm just missing money. Like, let me try to, to, okay. share, to share, okay. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. You can. He can't. Oh, sure. Being alone. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, so. No, I mean. Uh, beer. Time enjoy read, reading. Reading. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Ah, he, he can. can. Uh -huh. Beer being alone. With a. I think. I don't think so. No, he can't. He can't. He can't what? He can't uh, choose another. I don't know. <laughs> he can. This is an an. He can, he can select another one and then, then come back to that. Yes. Okay. I agree to a helping, help, help. Yes, help the yeah, wash this car. Yes, another one. Is if he, he keeps coming. Eso no me dice que está talking. sharing your stream, but I can see. Talking. Qué raro. Es, he can with Arate. He can. B? No. No. No quiera. 
do you mind helping me? No, I can't. You have never mentioned I. I living. You never mentioned living, living in your family. Mm -hmm. Uh, waiting. I don't know why this one is like this, though. He prefers to eat. Yes. Yeah, he plans to... to... stay... to stay. To stay, pero me falta una de letra. Which is not stay. Okay. To... We'll come back to this one later. Okay. Where did you learn to speak? Se trabó. No. Let's wait. Porque está completa ya. Ajá. Uh -huh. If you click enter or if you type enter. What? No hizo nada. Okay, let's try again then. Like paying. Voy a dar enter de nuevo. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, nada. ¿sí? What? Oh, well. Lo voy a intentar borrar. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, type the G. Ajá. Uh -huh. You have to type the whole word. Yes. The whole, the whole word. Eight. Number eight. Number eight. Okay. Uh, if he keep <laughs> coming, coming, uh -huh, coming, coming to work great. Okay, number two. Sure. Seeing. Seeing, I think. Beam. Seeing. Not seeing with the ing. And not, not seeing with s e e i n g. Uh -huh. And type the g. So that you go. Um, which one? Number seven or seventeen? Number seven. Oh, or seventeen. You've never mentioned leaving. Leaving, I think. Was that V? With V, but no. uh, the um, find Oops. oh no, we're not. Uh -huh. Sign. No, no, no. See here. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Okay. 
teacher, are you there? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> we are uh, uh, stopping in this one. Can stand. Can stand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the one. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me help you. It's um, the name of an animal, but at the same time, it can be a bird. Oh, beer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. No, 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 with A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, bird, bird. I can stand. Okay, bird. There we go. Excellent job. You're the first one. Primer grupo, chicos. So, uh, can you take a screenshot? Envíen un screenshot al chat. Se tardaron 12.20. Wow, okay. excellent. Mm. Interesting. We go back to the group, please. Okay. Interesting, excellent. What happened to you guys? Uh, we are doing again the next oh, Really? You had an issue? Uh, the first, the beer. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. we, okay. we thought that it was being, but it's being beer. Beer, yes. That's uh -huh. the one. So that's okay. Mm -hmm. Once you're done, please take a screenshot and share that screenshot uh, to WhatsApp, right? So we can know about your punctuation. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Talking. Mm -hmm. You're just reading. Uh, Maybe she can, maybe the B. Do you need some help? Yeah, teacher. Okay, this is the name of an animal, but at the same time, it's a, it's a verb. Be a verb? Es un verbo and the name of an animal. It can be a noun or a verb. Ah, ah he can. <laughs> ¿Cuál es? Uh, bear. No, yes, exactly. Yes, but we put the bird in the. What? Yes, we put the bird and didn't recognize. No, but that's the correct one. The I type. think. Toda la palabra, I... B E A R, toda typemola, right? If not, this is not going to recognize the word. Uh, the R, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. The R? Yes, you need to. The, the R, the, the, yeah. letter, the last one. Yeah, the uh -huh. last one as well. Ah, there you go. Ah, that <laughs> That's why. Exactly. We so were you that, know? That, yes, yeah. we tried that yeah. word. Eat. Okay. So is it? Eat. Eat. So eat. eat. There we ah. go. Ah, that is what's happening. <laughs> yeah, we're right. Doing right sure. but... So, you know, after you're done, please take a screenshot and send that screenshot to WhatsApp so we can know okay. about the time. Cuánto se dará? I really need to know. So keep on working. Okay. Uh, paying, paying, paying. Pay. Okay. Este promise, pero no, no sé. No, 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 tampoco, no puede ser, no puede ser. The government says. So. Okay, what is a synonym of give? 
Give. Eh, give. Dar. Ajá, con sinónimo de verbo give. Con... Pro. Promise. Mm, cerca, cerquísima. Cambiémosle una letra. Pro. P. R. Provide. Provide. There ah. you go. Oh. <laughs> Thank Provide. you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Casi lo decía completo. <laughs> Pero no, no, no. Pero es que tienen que escribir toda la palabra. If not, this is not going to recognize the complete word. So, P, O, really, once again. There you go. <laughs> so, at the end, please take a screenshot and you can share the time that it took you to complete this exercise. Then via WhatsApp, please, a screenshot at the end of the activity. <laughs> She hates to. Tengo she hates palabra con c. Para el verbo con c. Son c. Guys, finish. No, we're done. You're done. So please take a screenshot so we can know. ¿Cuánto les tomó una hora? Really, or one minute? Nice. One minute fifty-two. One minute. 50, 58. Really? Así de rápido fueron. Jasmine, it's so fast. It's really? so fast. I can't, be, I can't believe it. Yeah, for Please. me, it's incredible. <laughs> okay, she's like an octopus, right? Whenever it comes to typing, she's very fast. Really? Because I have some groups that they are still struggling, right? They don't find the correct verb yeah oh, like no. 12 or 13 minutes so i guess you're the winners <laughs> Yay! excellent why not why really we did another other uh activity that you did that we did the other day the workshop thing yeah no? yeah right yeah it was fun so that was pretty fun so please send the pictures, take a screenshot. Se van a sorprender. Todos se van a sorprender un minuto cincuenta. So we send those to WhatsApp? Please. Okay. So Doesn't take a look at David, Doris, and Janari. Les tomó 10 minutes and 27 seconds. Wow. Francisco dice 11 minutos, 12 minutos, so yeah. <laughs> you are the winner. It's excellent. So okay. let's come back to the main room after this. Just, uh, okay, so I just need to for this thing to charge yeah, so right. I can I can send a picture. <laughs> okay, take your time. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna take a photo with my phone. That's okay. That's okay. I guess it's easier. Yeah. Oh yeah, you did. So. ¿Cuánto les tomó? ¿Cuánto tiempo? ¿No les mostró la imagen a ti? Did it show you the yeah. picture? So can you take a screenshot and send that information to the group? Please, to WhatsApp. Okay. There okay. we go. So 14 out of 18. Okay, we are going to find out. Vamos a ver qué pasó. 14 out of 18. Excellent. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ah, but it helped me. Okay, time to come back. Hi, Diego. ¿Cómo estamos, Diego? He's in the class already. Okay, how was this exercise, this activity? Was this easy, difficult? Let me listen. Okay, ¿Cómo sintieron la actividad, chicos? How was it? Easy, difficult? Not really. <laughs> okay. 
14 out of 18. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver qué pasó ahí. 14 de 18. 14 out of 18. También. Erwin and Jasmine, there we go. Okay, can you go and check the chat? WhatsApp chat, please. Veamos los tiempos. ¿Cuánto le sumó? How long did it take? ¿Cuánto le sumó? To complete this activity. Because in my case, yes, I was expecting <laughs> for you to complete this exercise in like five or 10 minutes, right? But no. What really matters is that you kill it. Who's this? The last one. Oh, Fernando, muy bien. Janari les tomó 10 minutes and 27 seconds. Día 27. And after that, we have Jocelyn, Andres and Jocelyn. Oh, miren, Andres and Jocelyn. Un minuto But... con. 10 segundos, yeah, but the, that was the second time. Oh, the first time okay, we, the second time. We, <laughs> uh, almost <laughs> six minutes, to be honest, six minutes. Okay, the first time. And then we have a uh, Francisco, right? For 10 minutes, 14 con in Genesis. In Genesis. Fernando, yeah. 12 minutes. Okay, take a look at Jasmine and Erwin. ¿Qué, qué opinan? What is your opinion? <laughs> The second that time. was the second time. <laughs> really? Jasmine? Be honest, please. Uh. <laughs> Five minutes. I mean, we didn't know how long time we had, and we <laughs> again, but it didn't take a picture of that one. I didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, right. No, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and check this information. The most difficult one. ¿Cuál fue la que más le costó? Because I had to help like two or three groups because you were not finding about this one. Let me show you the answers. Can't bear and can't stand. Esos dos verbos o esas dos ideas you didn't find. Vamos a ver, editar contenido. Aquí está. Okay, here we go. Take a look at the sentences that we have here. <clears throat> Number one. Okay, what is the correct one? Dan enjoys reading, reading mm -hmm. science fiction. Number two. Cheryl. But just let's take a look at this one. La respuesta. Number one was reading, seeing, working, speak, helping, talk. Number seven, living, coming, study, help, bear, stand, provide, talking, clean, doing it and pain. Right? Ahí están todas las respuestas. So go ahead and check the information. Did you get the same? Same verbs. I guess you did, right? Yeah, we all did. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Pero algunos les aparece 14 de 18. Why? Why was it? 14 palabras correctas de 18 que eran. Mm -hmm. So, uh, why did you get I, that? I think maybe it's because the, in my Spelling? case, I, I remember uh, when I, I typed wrong, ah, maybe okay. it's good chances, I count like a day. Like they less, they yes. one point for, mm -hmm. for that. So probably. In my case, in provide, I got it wrong, so it marked it, mark it wrong. Really, in provide, this one, okay. So I have like three similar activities. You know, I really love this one, word world. Tiene tantas actividades, I do love this one. So yes, I already have so many activities with this uh, platform that we are going to be uh, having you know tomorrow in the last week of classes as well so you can practice in a different way okay so great job interesting let's move on what do we have next 
as you may see, we have an activity, the activity that we are going to be doing in this class. This is, um, bueno, para los que son nuevos, los que son ya de cursos anteriores, you may know that we have like three uh, steps in each class, right? Tres etapas también, right? The first one, that is like the introduction in which we are going to find about the topic that we are going to be covering in the class. Second, it's like um, I'm going to present the pre task because in every class we have a task. In this case, this is what we are going to do right now. After that, you move, go work with your classmates, completing the task for that class. And then we come back and we present the result, right? Para que no olvidemos, tres etapas en cada clase. Pre-task, task completion, and present the results. So this is the stage that we are going to have right now. Let me ask you, we have a discussion right now. The type of work you are best at. Quedémonos ahí. The type of work you are best at. Quedémonos con esto. What is the type of work you are best at? You can tell me about your actual job, previous experience that you, that you may have had, you know, I don't know. So what is the type of job you are best, que nos gusta hacer, that we really enjoy doing, that we are good at? Let me listen to you. Think about the reply that you're going to give. Para que nacimos, para que somos buenos. Hmm? What is your work style? Think about that one. So I can show you the response. I, I, I am good teacher. Mm -hmm. I am good in teaching math. I, I like to teach math. Okay. And I am good in, in writing. I work for about 15 years in writing. Okay. And I, I can write speeches, books, uh, really? uh, poetry. Uh -huh. Yes, poetry I am good as that. well. Wow. So, have you ever thought about writing a book or, I don't know, working as a writer? I, I already write a, a book and I, I write in another one. What, what is the name of that book? You know, it's I would a, really love uh, to read it. It's a, a, a book about a, a testimony of a man that had a car accident and okay. uh, he was dead. And uh, something happened in that process. Uh -huh. And that is the, 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 the main topic of the book. Wow. Yes, I can send it to you. Please, it would be yes. such an honor, you know, reading about that. <laughs> Interesting. So, did you know about that class? Ya sabían eso de David? I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> right? So, interesting. Thank you, David. Any other? What do you enjoy doing? What is the type of work you're best at? Take a look at those examples that we have there. As David, he was mentioning, I'm good at teaching math, so he loves being a teacher. So what about you, class? How about you? <clears throat> ¿Para qué nacimos? ¿Para qué nos mandaron a la tierra? ¿Qué nos apasiona? What is your passion about this? Thinking. Okay. Thinking, um, okay. Singing. Singing, singing. really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I sing. Okay, tell me more. <laughs> uh, well, I've been part of uh, La Opera de Salvador since 2013. And I, I sing, not professionally because I have not dedicated to it, but mm -hmm. um, I, I do participate in events and I love singing. Imagine, so did you know about that class? 
I didn't, so it's interesting. <laughs> Ven cómo nos conocemos en cada clase. Interesting. <laughs> Take from five to ten minutes, no more. No, no más tiempo, chicos. So you can express about this topic sentence and discuss that with your classmates. After that, we're coming back because the activity that we are going to have is um, not really writing, but probably typing. Vamos a crear una composición, right? About that um, topic, you know, that is going to be the topic. But first, let's go and let's bring those ideas, right? So we can be ready to uh, make that composition after that. Practiquemos con los compañeros. Okay. Nos gusta hacer o para qué. Somos buenos. Vamos a crear nuevos grupos. Here we go. Five minutes. From five to ten minutes. Okay. Okay, I'm still missing Harpin, Madeline, and Diego. Just let me know in case that you're having internet issues, just let me know, okay? So I can send your classmates with a different group. Okay, there we go. I'm just missing Diego. Doris. Okay, I guess she's not there. <laughs> I don't know, DJ. Doris, yeah, but her microphone is open. Uh -huh. She's not mute, so I don't know what's going on. If not, let me send you to a different group, and I'm going to do the same with Doris, right? You okay. are going together to a different group. Okay, teacher. Vamos a ver. Alguien especial? Not really. <laughs> no, 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 DJ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sí, pero no, ¿verdad? <laughs> ah, Doris, aquí está Doris con otro dispositivo. Wait, let's wait for her. Ah. Yes, Doris Flores no ha entrado. What room is this one? This is room number. Eh, I don't know, teacher. Quiero ver room number. Number eight. Oh. Aquí vamos. Ok, vamos a esperarla. Ah, oh, ok. There she is. <laughs> Bye, Doris. 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 Hola. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, Doris? Es que lo que sucede es que se me tarda mucho cuando voy a entrar a la sala sí. al break room o cuando voy a salir, entonces quiero unirme por teléfono. Pero ah, cuando yo okay. por teléfono ya entré en la computadora. Eso, ah, entonces... vaya, vaya. No, no hay problema. Nosotros, ¿qué pasó, Doris? Pero no, aquí estamos. We are waiting for you. Ok. Bueno. Ok, what is the topic? The type of work you are best at. ¿Para qué somos buenos? ¿Qué nos apasiona? That is the topic. Go ahead and discuss it. I'm the best for all. Ah. <laughs> okay. I really love that. That confidence. 
a no, mesa, no, no, right? no, no. Esa no, 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 no. Se acabó la conversación. I'm, I'm the best for sleep. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, teacher, era mi respuesta. Okay. Naco. Queríamos <laughs> inspiración, ok. Inspiración, Naco. <laughs> You guys, right? Okay. Keep on discussing, right? Okay, thank you. Uh, Doris? Well, uh, I don't know. I think sometimes I, I like my job. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, no. That was super bad. Yeah, it's better that you can... Uh, Search a, a technician to, yeah. stay, to save money in the next time. No, it's, I took it to a technician and they they told me that it was the motherboard. And then when I bought it, they changed it and it wasn't the motherboard. So they were like, I don't know what it could be. And then I took it to another technician and they told they told me the same thing that it was probably the RAM that I had just bought. And I was like, I don't think that that's the reason. And after they told me that I didn't want to spend money on it. Well, I couldn't because I didn't have any more <laughs> on anything else. So I just left it like that. And, and then like nine months later, I took it to another technician that told me that it could be the, the bios mm -hmm. and they updated it. And now it's fine. Yes, uh, that's like a, a doctor. When you yeah. are sick, when you are sick, they there is a good doctor that knows the the problem you have, but some doctors doesn't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because and I researched it, researched. And... Hi guys, yes. did you finish? <laughs> yes, Hi, we are ready. Yeah, talking. let me know about you. Para que somos buenos. <laughs> no, but <Talk>. trabajo, okay? <laughs> Hablando de trabajo, I mean, not, not sleeping, eating, no, eso no aplica, right? It doesn't no. apply. Okay. Uh, we, we were talking about that uh, because in my case, mm -hmm. um, in particular, I can adapt uh, and I can work with other people easily. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And I can work under pressure. Oh, wow. Eso sí es una habilidad, you know? In my case, yes. I yes. need to, but I don't really like to work under pressure. <laughs> I don't. So in your case, Jocelyn. Well, uh, this is not William. I can work under pressure. Talking about the good pressure, for example, coming death lines. Ah, yeah. Uh, Yes, talking about processes, I guess that I am a fast learner when a process that I need to follow, to follow. Okay, okay. And good on that, yes. So do you really enjoy what you're doing in this moment or the work uh, that you have? Uh, to be honest, it's not the kind of the, the kind of that I really want, but okay. I can adapt to any kind of job, to be honest. Okay. Um, I, yes, and I, I, I uh, yes. I like it. So have you ever had this experience before? Like finding a place in which you really want to stay or finding this type of job that is like your dream job or not really? Not really. Yeah. Really? In your case, William? I can complain. Okay. I really like that answer. I cannot complain. Very good job. So let's go back. Time is over. Okay. Okay, 
here we go. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes. Okay, let me listen about your information. Let's wait for your classmates so we can all listen about the information that you are going to share. <clears throat> Okay, Diego, don't you worry. So remember, whenever I ask for volunteers, I really need to have a lot of volunteers, you know, because this is the time for you to practice, you know. You don't really want to be listening to the teacher, you know, the whole class. No, I wish I could have, you know, from, you know, 10 volunteers at a time, you know, but no one wants to participate. Why not? Volunteer for what, teacher? Uh, whenever I ask for volunteers, you know, no solo los mismos. Ah, okay. Pierdan ese miedo. Ok. Aprendemos un nuevo idioma. Necesitamos expresar. No solo en forma escrita, gramática, no. Speaking. It's a very important part of this process as well. Ok. Here we go. So what was the question about? Or what was the topic? ¿Cuál fue el tema que les puse? What was uh, you are best in? Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you like to do? What do you think you are best doing it? Okay. So you already told us about that, right? Being a teacher, teaching math. That's what you're best at. Here I have some ideas. Take a look at these examples. And after that, I'm going to be listening to you. So what is your work style? I can adapt to any workplace. While working alone, I try to work at a fast pace to complete tasks on schedule. I can work in a team or independently. It depends on the demands of each project. I value reliability in the workplace. Pero dejando esto atrás, para que somos buenos. Um, I still remember um, whenever I had to, um, I did the profit, you know, whenever I, uh, I was done with my high school uh, studies, I had to go to the, and pick a career, right? I didn't know, right? No sabia. Nobody told me about, but I had so many other uh, choices rather than being a teacher, Lawyer, that those are like the most common careers, right? So I still remember that with my sister, because my sister, she is one year older than me, right? We're, we're always studying, you know, same school, same uh, classroom, you know, always together. So we decided that we didn't want to continue studying together anymore, right? Because we wanted to try something different. So I still remember that she wanted to be a lawyer. And in my case, I, you know, uh, I really wanted to be a lawyer as well, not a teacher, you know? But as I, as I mentioned before, we had to split, right? We didn't want to continue like doing the same, being in the same place, you know, having the same friends. We wanted to try something different. So that's why I'm a teacher because she didn't want to be a teacher, so we didn't have like any other choice. That's why I am a teacher and because I like English. That's why I am an English teacher, you know? This is my story, but after like 10 years, 12 years of teaching experience, I can say that I really love this job. I get to know great students. I have been teaching in different places, you know? teaching um, kids, adults, teenagers, you know, people from different countries as well, getting to know people from other cultures as well. So I really love what I do. And this is not my actual job. This is like an extra job that I 
uh, I'm doing, you know, at night? Because uh, my regular activities are, you know, way different from this one. I don't teach during the day. I just do this like an extra income, you know, that I can have at night. But I can say that if I had the chance to work as a teacher, you know, the rest of my life, yeah, I would really love to do that. So this is what I am good at, right? Being a teacher. Because in my other job, no soy teacher. <laughs> nada que ver, si supieran, no nada que ver. Hago cosas totalmente diferentes, right? Eh, trabajo con cursos, hago cursos online, eh, eh, cursos de, no de inglés, sino eh, cualquier tipo. I don't know if you have heard about Criana. ¿Ya han escuchado de Criana? Criana, this is a platform. Sí. Yeah? Yes. So this yes. is what I do. Eso hago, eh, wow. si no, vayan y busquen que es Criana. Criana son eh, cursos en línea. I, I do enjoy it, you know, but it's not what I really like to do. Eh, or if I had a chance to become a teacher, like a full-timer, yeah, I would do it. So, this is my experience. Let me listen to you. Ya mucho hablé. William, tell me about you. Well, um, I am good, uh, for example, uh, at the sports. Uh, I think I am a good athlete. Okay. And at work, I can adapt uh, very easy. And I can work uh, alone or with a team. And I can work under pressure. Okay. Interesting. Harbin, I'm going to pick just three bonnets. Well, not volunteers, right? Three classmates, three students so they can express it. Okay, hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. For example, in my case, teacher, I have to be honest. And when I was a child, I always think I'm going to be a, a doctor. But uh, I take bad decision when I was a child. So I, I can do it. But I have the opportunity, but I can do it. But I right now, I like my job. Okay. Because I, I, I concern myself very, very good to resolve problem. And every single day I have difficult situation in my job. And always when I do something, I feel so good when I, I resolve. And this is the special thing that I, I like what I do. Okay, interesting. Okay, let me have a girl. Kenya, Kenya, go ahead please. Hello. Hi, um, I think I'm good um, with the business. I'm actually working uh, in a uh, quality control department and I like what I am doing because I can review the other's job and, <laughs> and sometimes it's good for me because I'm very picky and I am always watching little details that can be um can, that can be better okay yep. okay and i can work alone i can improve. work mm -hmm. with teammates yeah i don't have any problem doing that okay interesting look at what i have here this is an example uh, of course you know i took this example from the internet of course but it's a great example because we're going to be doing like a similar activity in this moment. Okay, same, same activity. Let me have two volunteers so you can help me reading this, um, this example. Two volunteers. Uh, me. Okay. Vamos, Genesis. Start reading. <clears throat> the type of work I am best at. The job I liked best was writing cartoon strips for a children's comic paper called The Beano, a job I did before I was 20. What I liked most was being creative all day, knowing that young people liked reading our stories. 
Using my language skills to make something new was very satisfying work. It led, it let me reach an audience of more than two million readers. Do okay. I continue? Yeah, keep on reading. Okay. Of course, I didn't have to solve any big problems or fix anything. I didn't have to get dirty in our nice big office, and I didn't have to make important decisions or be anyone's boss. Inside our huge company, I liked working as part of a small team of artists and technicians and following the production systems to publish the Vino. After a while, I left that job to make more money, but I never forgot being a small part of the publishing industry in the UK. It made me appreciate having freedom and the create and creativity at work. Okay, great example, right? Writing cartoon strip. Interesting, but he left that job to make more money. Let me ask you, Again, le doy el control de la pizarra so you can go ahead and underline the examples that we have there about gerunds and infinitives. Here we go. Try to underline the examples that we have there, the verbs, gerunds and infinitives. Okay, go please. Ahora ya pueden todos. Go and underline. Okay. What was that? <laughs> there we go. To get, very good. To solve, okay. Interesting, following, very good job, Andres. Working, publishing, having. Okay, excellent, Francisco. And that's it, right? Okay, writing, being, using my language skills, knowing, reading, reach, to solve, to get, to make, working, following, to publish, to make, being, and having. Okay, excellent. So as you may see in this short composition we can find so many examples about gerunds and infinitives excellent what is the activity that we are going to do in this month we are going to have from 20 to 30 no wow yes no for tiempo 30 minutes 30 lo más 30 minutos right so you can go ahead and develop this activity. Look, tell me what type of work you think you are best at. Write a 10 sentence paragraph. Use some of these choices, right? You can use these expressions. Here, you already have like some examples. Okay, helping people to help people. Working or to work as a part of a team being or to be loyal and reliable, making or to make decisions. And there you have so many choices, right? Try to use these expressions in the composition. And what can we do? Let's go to the platform. Where is it? I guess it's here. And please, you're going to Pace or leave the composition, the paragraph. The hemolaca in section number three. 
here. 3.0. We have a video there. Nothing to do with the class, but here in the discussion box. Here, you're going to have um, the chance to paste the composition there. Vamos a dejarla ahí. So tomorrow, or if we have time, we are going to be reading those compositions today. Está claro lo que vamos a hacer. Lo voy a enviar lo mismo. Same instructions. So you can take a look at the example and also to the expressions that you can use, you can use in the composition. Pregunta sobre esta actividad. Is it clear what we're going to be doing in this moment? Yes. Vamos a ver. Okay. Go and check, check WhatsApp. There you're going to find the example and also the expressions with germs or infinitives. Okay, here we go. And let me lose something. Lo voy a dejar que elijan con quien van a trabajar, okay? This time you're going to be the ones. Let me see. Okay, nine different rooms. Elijan con quien quieren trabajar. Okay, it is up to you. It can be in pairs or groups of three, no más de tres, no? Eh, no tenemos el tiempo de practicar tanto. Here we go. Okay, Genesis is in room number four. Jasmine is in the room number five. And Fernando, he is in room number nine. William, he is in room number eight. Okay, so go pick one of the rooms. We are still missing like 11 students and you know what chicos no chequeado la asistencia nobody told me about it i forgot about it i completely forgot <laughs> so please david cuando volvamos me acuerda porfa i forgot about it okay thank you <laughs> number four who is in genesis genesis she is in room number four Okay. Jasmine in room number five. Okay. And in I your case, number five. I'm still missing Freddy's, Madeline, Janari, Doris, Jocelyn, Francisco, Erwin. Okay. David, he's in room number five. Muy bien. Okay, Yanari, ahí vamos. I don't know if you need some help. Necesitan ayuda, chicos. Yanari, Madeline? Yes, I can do that. You yes. cannot? No. Ah, pero Yanari, you're in room number seven. 
Let me send you with a uh, Genesis, okay? Okay, thank you. A la cuatro, go to room number four. Okay, here you go. Muy bien, ahí está. Okay, remember you have from 20 to 30 minutes to complete this activity, okay? This is a 10 lines paragraph about the topic that we were having. Okay, teacher. Muy bien, excellent. But uh, we have to mm -hmm. do it individually or? If you want to work in pairs, that will be really nice because it's easier. You know, so you can complement your ideas. If not, you can work individually as well. Okay? Okay. Okay. Muy bien. In your case, Francisco, what are, are you good at? Uh, I think, well, I think that, I don't know. I have a, a crazy home. Uh, I, I like, I really like to fix some thing, for example, uh, the different objects that have uh, a electronic target. I like to fix this thing, for example, the, the toys or, or other electrodomesticos. I don't know how do you say. Okay, let me help you, electrodomesticos, appliances, yes. <laughs> no, or like gadgets, como los dispositivos también. That one, ah. también? Ah, okay. So you're okay. good at that. Mm -hmm. I like I like it. I really like it to to fix this thing off. Really? Yes. I I repay. I fix it. Sorry. I mm -hmm. fix it the um, DVDs. Okay. You can do it. Wow. Wow. So home appliances. As I say, it's electrodomésticos. Ah, appliances. Appliances. appliances son mm -hmm. electrodomésticos. Y ahí entra cualquier cosa, por ejemplo, las lavadoras, televisores, so appliance, esa es la categoría. So interesting, eso ya casi no existe, Francisco. Nobody <laughs> can fix anything, you know? I don't know, but I always I have this, this like a, a hobby, but when, uh -huh. when some things uh, have problem or issues, I like it to fix. Oh, really? Uh, yes. I yeah. I have the the tester um mm -hmm. the counting. Ah, okay, but, yeah. Uh -huh. But I use the, the I don't know how do you say estaño with, with other okay this is new vocabulary. Vamos a averiguarlo, don't worry. So you can write about that. You know, if you mm -hmm. prefer you can work individually. But if you prefer so, you can do a composition working together as a team. No importa, okay? Complementen sus ideas. What is the point? The point is for you to use gerunds and infinitives. This is the goal. Con eso estoy feliz. Que usen gerunds and infinitives. So interesting. So keep on working. Working people, part of, of a team, to be a way of, 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 of
Um, teacher, can I ask a question? Sure. Uh, it's just that, um, do we have to write a paragraph each or do we have to write just one between all the three of us? Okay, I'm going to give you the chance to work as a group. You know, I guess it's easier because in that way you can complement your ideas, right? So yeah, do it. Yeah. So, or if oh, you prefer okay. to, yes, to work individually, that's okay as well. No problem, okay? Mm. Okay, thank you. It is up but, to you, mm -hmm. tell me. Okay, so what do you guys think? What would you like to do? I'm already writing something down. But... Let me know. Sorry, sorry. No, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, teacher? <laughs> Oops, tengo mi cámara encendida. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I am not here. You are the one who are working here. Ah, no, no. I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 you know, actually, this can be like a real situation. Si quieren escribir de algo real, that's okay. If not, you know. Ah, oh, okay. Lo que necesito es. Inventing. For you to use gerunds and infinitives. And that's okay. Okay. That's okay. 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 Creative. I don't have creative. I'm not a person. <laughs> I'm sure you are. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there there's creativity there. Okay. Um, so what do we write about? I was writing about my my experience at my work, my okay. job. But I don't know what what do you want to write about? Hi, Tabi. Hi, teacher. I am working by myself because yeah, now it right. comes. Yeah, that's okay. Group, but I... Do you want me to send you to a different group or are you going to stay here? I, am, I am doing okay, teacher. I am. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I can show you what I sure, was doing. Sure, sure. This that's is okay. something. Uh, I think uh, that I write 10 lines. <gasps> That was fast. So yeah, you are good at doing this, yes. <laughs> yes. What time of war do you say you are besides? I feel like going to help you people, people in fact. Mm -hmm. uh, I decided to study engineering because it's focused solving problems. Maybe for that reason, maybe become a teacher because in teaching you're being helping boys and girls not only to solve problems, not only to get knowledge, but find themselves and focusing their lives in whatever they want to do in life. When you can solve a problem in a laboratory condition like the classroom, you can go to life with an attitude that there is a solution for every issue you will find in life. Maybe you can find a solution by yourself. Maybe you need to get some help. Maybe you need to get more understanding and knowledge, but there is a solution. And I am in that part. Interesting. Eso fue muy rápido, you know. There are some other groups. Yes. They are still thinking about the topic, you know. Come on, <laughs> you need to be fast at doing this. Excellent, you know. I don't know if we can have like, okay, wait, let me lose something. Hi, Telma. Como vamos, Telma, with the activity? Did you finish? Well, I uh, mm -hmm. I was reading a, a short story about the 
that I, I, uh -huh. and I go working, uh, helping to, to people. Okay, helping to people. Yeah, but in, in a Google document because I had some problem with the platform. Really? Yeah. Um, en varias ocasiones me han sacado y vuelvo y me meto y me vuelve a sacar. I know. And, I, I guess it's Zoom. Creo que falla Zoom, ¿verdad? ¿Será el internet, Belmo? ¿Qué será? Yo creo que es mi internet. I guess, right? But don't you worry. If you want, we still have like five or ten minutes so we can finish with this activity. Trate de, de finalizarlo, ponerlo en la platform, because tomorrow we are going to be reading Matt, this exercise. What, mm -hmm. what homework? Okay. If you see, mm -hmm. I gave you an example. Le di un ejemplo de eh, este yeah. tema, el tema que estamos hablando, right? The type of yes, work I am best at. This is the one. So you can take this one as an example. Try to tell me in your own word, what is the type of work you are best at? I'm good at helping people, you said. Y podemos yeah. utilizar estas expresiones. I'm good at helping people uh, because I consider that being a leader. No sé, ocupemos todas estas expresiones. Si no logramos yes, hacer yes. los 10 líneas, 10 lines, at least five, por lo menos cinco. But the idea is for you to use gerunds and infinitives at the same time, okay? To express your ideas. That's yeah, it. but mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. where I have to uh, to work. You can type it in a, I, in, in a the, word. Okay, I'm in sorry. a word three point three or not? No, no. Yes, you can type it as of right now in a word document. You know. And after that, yes, you need to go to the platform, aquí, en la sección número 3, exercise 3.0, 3.0. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. And here, aquí está, quiero ver. Oh, no, this is Jocelyn and Marilyn. Esta es la actividad de ayer, creo que se equivocaron. Yeah. So, so, mm -hmm. so here, just leave your... Yes, house. for that, um, I think, and I, I, no es know, actually, I don't know. Yes. In this, in this este no tendría que ir acá. activity, uh -huh. 3.0. In 3.0, yes. Yeah. Ahí le vamos a dejar. So, tomorrow we can read about uh, your ideas. Okay. Selma, ¿está trabajando con algún grupo? Or not no. Really? No. Ok, no, no. Vale, si gusta, nos quedamos acá unos 10 minutos, no, menos, 8 minutos. Luego de eso, regresan sus compañeros y terminamos la clase, ok? Ok, no problem. Ok, Thank keep on working. Ok. You finish. <laughs> Terminaron.
Yeah, teacher. Okay, so do not forget, go to the platform, section number three, activity 3.0. La 3.0, there you're going to be pasting uh, your creation to composition. Okay. Okay, so this is like the last part of the activity. Did you work, did you work individually or together as a team? As a mix together. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> so yeah, no importa, you know, the idea is for you to use gerunds and infinitives. Okay. So who is the one who is gonna be typing? Que se me hizo. <laughs> Where is Charming? Que se hizo. I don't know, he left. <laughs> he left. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, he's not yeah, longer in the class. I'll okay. try to. Yeah, I try to finish with that activity, okay? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I don't know what happened, but I want to Jeremy. Hey, voy a intentar este ponerlo en la plataforma, la texto. Okay. Look it in the chat. Yes. Tienes que asegurarte de pedir una nueva porque si no puedes perder los fondos. <laughs> so that mean before I was here. Mm -hmm. So we're done. So uh, hi teacher. So we have a thingy here. Well, my example. And that's already here. Okay. Share. Here it is. Here's my composition. What I'm of my current job, I'm best at. Here it is. Information tracking. Yeah. You yes. Okay. Lucky. Okay, this activity requires working. Okay. I also have to compare. Wow, interesting. So do not forget the last step of this activity is for you to go to the platform and paste your composition there. So oh, with yes. your classmates and I don't know, people who wants to read about your composition can do it. Okay. So Fernando and Jocelyn, did you finish? Uh, to be honest, I, I, I don't. Okay, no, 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 Right, and Jocelyn? Yeah. I am working on that. Okay, so keep on working. So, Fernando, don't worry. Eh, creería que no, only David, he was the first one who finished, you know, with this activity. Jasmine, que ya me mostró his, her composition. Mm -hmm. No terminaron, chicos. Probably this is not an easy task, right? Trying to, you know, uh, bring your ideas to a composition. Pero no se preocupen, tal vez mañana, not really, like, I'm gonna give in, you know, be giving you like five or 10 extra minutes so you can finish with this activity. Okay? Vamos ya de regreso a la sala. Nobody told me about this. No chequeo la asistencia, teacher. Nadie me recordó. Uh, we talked about it here, but I forgot and... to tell you about it. I remember it. We were, like, we were 20 minutes in and I got Please really let me know because sometimes I do forget about doing this. 
Vamos ya de regreso. Sancho con okay. Rack. Quiero ver, okay. yes. Class is over. Sorry. Okay, time to come back. Okay. Let me see. Okay, let me check the attendance. <laughs> Here we go. Where are you? Okay, I cannot find. <laughs> Ahorita, just give me a sec. Aquí está, muy bien. Ok, vamos a chequear. Please say present. If possible, have your cameras on. Para que quede evidencia que sí están ahí. Vamos a ver el 27th. Aquí estamos. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portilla. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. He's still there, right? Yeah. Dora, yeah, right. Dora Elizabeth <laughs> Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Génesis. I'm sorry, present, present. I had my microphone off. Oh. Okay, you were mute. Harvin is back, Guevara Miranda. Present. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Kenia. But she was here. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Madeline Jamilet Molina González. Present. Thelma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Facing. There we go. So class, do not forget, go to the platform. I guess nobody, nadie le quedó el chance, ¿verdad? Did you have the chance to go there? Section 3.1, no, 3.0, that's the one. Okay, we are going to finish with this activity tomorrow because we really need to do so. After that, we're going to be reading about your experiences, compositions as well. Okay, so questions, comments about this activity or the class activities from today? No? If not, let me see. Who is the one who is going to stay today? Quien se quedó ayer conmigo? Who was it? William, right? So, yeah. Janari, Janari, can you stay today? 
Uh, I think it's tomorrow, teacher. Okay. And Jocelyn? Yes. It's okay. okay. So today with Jocelyn, tomorrow, Janaris. Vamos a ver con. Son las últimas dos, creo. No sé si se me quedó alguien más. Sí, sí, sí. Alguien que no haya, se, se haya quedado conmigo antes. ¿No? Yo creo que todo, ¿verdad? Todos ya se quedaron un ratito después de la clase. Yeah. Yes, oh, yes, I'm just missing Janari and Jocelyn. Okay, we're going to stop the class here. Thank you so much for coming, joining this class, participating. We're going to continue tomorrow, okay? Teacher. Sí. Okay, teacher. Uh, we will have vacations uh, next week or? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, yes, of course. Yes, of course. we have vacations. Okay. We need it. Ah, espera esa pregunta. Nadie se atrevía. Andrés nos ha salvado. Claro, Andrés. Me doy okay. libre desde el sábado. Nos vemos en el sábado. Ajá. Ahí me invitan, me invitan. <laughs> yes. So yeah, okay. sí, vamos a tener claro esa pausa. Okay. Good night. 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 Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. Jocelyn. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. Far so good. What about you? I'm good. Just give me a second. Oh. Okay. Ok, ya estamos fuera de clase. Excelente. Just let me ask you. Va, estamos ya en avanzado número 2. Yes. ¿Cómo nos sentimos en avanzado 2? ¿Qué cosas podemos reforzar with Jocelyn? No sé, algún skill. Por ejemplo, speaking, reading, writing, algo que nos cueste y que podamos reforzar Jocelyn. Eh, creería que speaking. Ok, speaking. why? ¿Por qué Jocelyn? Because I really want to improve my pronunciation. I guess this is uh, my issue for the moment. Well, maybe I have another one, but basically I want to speak perfectly one day. And oh, I hope to. Okay. Yes, I try to follow so many pages on the internet and trying to follow in and try to imitate the pronunciation from American people, mm -hmm. but I guess really difficult, yes. I don't know if you can provide me teachers some advices or sure. what can I uh, receive help in this from you, of course. Okay, so you know, I have been listening to you. I can say that your pronunciation is really nice, you know. Um, your confidence is good, okay, as well. Whenever I ask for volunteers, and if I say, okay, Jocelyn, yes, you're always ready to participate. And that's good because in that way you're practicing, you know, your pronunciation, uh, the structures that we are covering in the class or the vocabulary itself, right? So yes. recommendations, que será para mejorar speaking? Uno es eso, no tengamos miedo a hablar, okay? Y si nos corrigen, igual, no tengamos miedo a la corrección. It's part of the process, correction. Yes, it is. It is, right? Pero siempre pregunto, ¿por qué no todos tomamos la corrección de una misma manera? Algunos no les gusta ser corregidos, y ya me lo han dicho, hay otros que sí. Please, teacher, correct me in pronunciation, o hágame participar, teacher, o no sé. ¿Cómo estamos con Jocelyn en ese caso? I am uh, really easy going and I am open to feedback, teacher. Every time you need to tell me something or correct me, yeah, fit to do it because I am here to improve. I am here to learn. So there how I happen. will learn is I am no, I will I no receive a correction exactly. because I am in the process for the moment. So yes, this is a process of learning. Remember, uh, yeah, we will never stop learning, and in this case. We are learning a new language, English. So you will keep on learning at least a new word, new expression, you know, in the coming years. So for improving speaking, una de las formas de mejorar speaking, yes, is by listening. 
Okay. Un idioma se aprende escuchando, ok? Not by writing, practicing grammar, reading, not reading. La base siempre es escuchar, ok? Because in that way I can imitate. In this case, the American accent. Eh, lo número o lo segundo más importante es eh, practicarlo. La pronunciación no va a venir por sí sola, ok? Si yo quiero mejorar, necesito practicar porque eh, para practicar o para hablar tenemos la lengua, un músculo, algo que nosotros necesitamos ejercitar. ¿Por qué? Porque en base a eso nuestra lengua se va a acostumbrar a hacer sonidos que no tenemos en el español. Dos, a la posición correcta de nuestra lengua. Puede ser arriba, abajo, en medio de los dientes. Todas esas posiciones que, que tal vez no las vemos específicamente en clases, pero que sí existe, right? The pronunciation. Entre más hablemos, más vamos a acostumbrarnos a pronunciar bien y a hablar de una manera más fluida. Una buena forma de hacerlo es, eh, let me see, in my case. Cantando puede ser una buena forma porque se hace de una manera rápida. ¿Ok? Cantar, no cantamos despacio, pausado, no. Sino que lo hacemos de una manera fluida. Podemos ir leyendo y cantando a la vez. Una técnica. Número dos. If you go to YouTube, there you're going to find so many resources, right? For example, if you type like uh, readings. Hay lecturas. I don't know. Let me see if I can find those activities. Bueno, le comparto mi experiencia. Yo empecé a estudiar inglés hace bastantes años, pero claro, no lo practicaba y Ajá. Pues, obviamente, ¿verdad? Pero una de las cosas con las cuales creo que mejoré mucho y en base a fluidez, bueno, de hecho yo hablo rápido inclusive en mi idioma natal, pero sí como mejoré en sí, pues eh, fluidez, creo que fue porque yo tenía varios libros en inglés y me ponía a estarlos leyendo, aunque tal vez no mencionaba o no pronunciaba correctamente. Pero ah, sí, okay. eso sentí que me ayudó mucho a, uh -huh. conforme hacía a mi fluidez. Entonces, yes. estamos bien. La lectura, perfecto. Pero, ¿cómo me voy a asegurar si estoy pronunciando correcto? Ahí es que nos da el miedo. Si sí, es cierto, sí. puedo estar leyendo bien, pero no estoy seguro. Estas lecturas eh, tienen una pronunciación americana muy bonita y imitar ayuda muchísimo. Vamos eh, Ejercitando listening, porque lo estoy escuchando, reading, porque lo voy leyendo, a la misma vez identifico las estructuras gramaticales, ejemplos. Y número tres, lo voy hablando, yo puedo ir leyendo en voz alta e imitando lo que estoy escuchando ahí. ¿okay? Tenemos tantos ejemplos, take a look at this one, Aquí el segundo, tres horas treinta y seis, o sea, no hay excusa, podemos escuchar, leer y practicar tanto que en esta forma nos vamos a acostumbrar. Si lo hacemos un hábito, se va a volver algo muy fácil. Eh, creería que es la forma más fácil para empezar. Y lo demás, sí, cantar, en serio, cantar. Hay cantantes que son muy correctos para hablar. Porque si nos vamos al rap y todos esos cantantes que tal vez su inglés es como un idioma adquirido como una segunda lengua, eh, tal vez no pronuncien tan bien como alguien que sí es nativo del idioma, ¿verdad? Pero sí, cantar nos ayuda a una fluidez bastante eh, rápida, porque lo hacemos de una manera rápida, o sea, la seguridad que adquirimos también, porque es algo que disfrutamos y porque podemos cantar de cualquier cosa. Hay tantos temas, tanto vocabulario que podemos adquirir que siento que también es una buena forma. Y la más eh, retadora sería ir y practicar con alguien inglés directamente. ¿okay? Por ejemplo, en las clases, ¿por qué nos vamos y trabajamos en parejas o en grupos de tres? Porque o practicamos o practicamos. O me quedo callado y no practico. ¿okay? Pero la idea es perder el miedo. Si nos confrontamos a tener una conversación real, no hay opción, tengo que hablar o hablar, ¿ok? 
no sé si lo estoy haciendo bien o mal, pero tengo que hablar. Entonces, Jocelyn, no sé si hay alguien con el, quien pueda practicar fuera de clases o no. No, bueno, de mi caso no. Le hablo en esta ocasión inclusive a mi mascota en inglés, en inglés ah, cuando a veces, ¿verdad? Que ah, digo, voy a practicar. Pero okay. sí, eh, sí, eso sí, eh, se me dificulta. Trato de practicar por mí misma, leyendo un libro o algo, inclusive así. Uh -huh. He tratado de grabarme, pero sí dejé de hacerlo. Sentía un poco tedioso y cuando me escuchaba yo decía, ah, no. <risa> no eso no. iba a decir ahorita, eso iba a decir grabarse. Pero es, es mejor porque así mi cerebro identifica si a mí no me gusta, o sea, yo no me siento bien con lo que estoy escuchando. Ah, me estoy grabando y escuchándome a mí misma. Entonces siento que debo mejorar algo. Es como un reto hacia mí mismo, un reto personal, ¿verdad? Grabémonos, también funciona, funciona bastante. Los trabalenguas, tongue twister, otra manera fácil de practicar y de hablar rápido. ¿Por qué? Okay. Porque nos retan a decir cosas sin sentido, pero eh, a usar nuestro, o sea, nuestro vocabulario, expresiones gramaticales, todo de una forma eh, divertida también. Algo más para practicar speaking. Como lo que hicimos ayer, tener conversation questions. Preguntas de conversación, lo que se me ocurra. O tener como una lista y ponerle en un lugar donde yo le esté viendo y practicar. O sea, aunque sea yo mismo me hablo, le hablo a mi mascota. Yo también lo hablo. Yo a mí misma me hablo. Yo a veces ando hablando yo sola. En inglés uh -huh. lo bueno es que usamos mascarilla. No se nota que ando hablando sola. Pero sí es bueno. Muchas veces es bueno tener a alguien. En my case, yes. Tengo a mi esposo, él también habla inglés. Entonces creo que por eso es bueno tener a alguien. Pero si no lo tenemos... Uno solo, uno solo, siento que es válido, pero para estar en avanzado dos, estamos muy bien, Jocelyn, estamos, estamos muy bien. La seguridad es, es grande y eso creo que es la base, no tener miedo. Un idioma siempre se basa en tres, pongámoslo como una pirámide, un triángulo base, como querramos llamarlo. La confianza es la primera, si no tenemos confianza, ahí murió todo. Si yo tengo miedo a hablar, ¿para qué? ¿Para qué voy a aprender un idioma? La base es la confianza. Luego le agregamos gramática y luego vocabulario. Tenemos esos tres elementos. Vamos a saber expresarnos de una manera fácil en inglés. ¿Ok? Con la gramática, ¿cómo estamos, Jocelyn? ¿Nos cuesta? No, de hecho, eso es, siento que es algo de lo que... Eh... Sí, no me cuesta hacer una oración, una Ajá. question, la sé formular muy bien. Ok. Sé dónde incluye una preposición, dónde incluye, sí, pues, cuál es una pregunta abierta, cuál es una pregunta afirmativa. Eso es bueno. Sí. Podemos Entonces, identificar estructuras también. Este es el presente simple, el pasado, el continuo, sí. Sí, lo básico, por ejemplo, presente, pasado, futura, present continuous, eh, past participle, eh, mm -hmm. past continuous, sí, los identificar. El difícil es después el past, past, perfect. Eh. Ah, ok. Es, creo que hay dos estructuras en inglés que son en serio de las más complicadas, incluso en el español nos cuesta identificarla. El present perfect, pero hay varias claves. Por ejemplo, aquí tengo ocho preguntas que ayer usamos. Mi idea era que practicaran gerunds and infinities, pero si se fija, hay estructuras que usamos y ni nos dimos cuenta. Number one, esta, ¿qué estructura es? Have you never eaten? Pass. Parsible. Actually, it's not pass, it's present. Okay. Is present perfect. Perfect, ajá. Desde que vemos el have, ah, estoy viendo que el verbo está en presente, es presente. Pero tenemos el verbo en pasado participio, eaten. Have you ever eaten? Yes. eaten? Ahí está. Muy bien. Número dos, ¿qué estructura estamos utilizando? Something you always intended to do. Aquí está. ¿Qué estructura sería en la número dos? Pass. Ajá, interesting. ¿Y en la número tres? You sure? What would be the best thing you could reasonably oh, There we yes. go. Number four. How do you measure yourself of this thing you can't 
Eh, present. Sí, es presente, es el simple present. ¿Por qué? Simple Porque present. es el auxiliar do. Y una WH word, how do. Aquí, la número 5, esta es la clave. Simple. Mm. Simple present. Present también, solo que con tercera persona. Aquí tenemos a través en la número 6, what is this about? Eh, pass. Pass perfect. Not really, es como la número uno, no es past, es present. Ah, es presente, okay. porque tenemos have. Pero si dijera yes. had, ahí sí es pasado, pero en este caso es have. Estamos con el presente perfecto, porque también está el pasado. Perfecto, pero aquí es presente porque tenemos el auxiliar have, presente. Y aquí sí, pasado, ¿eh? When was. Yes, pasado, en this one. Do, el auxiliar do. Simple, Simple present. present. Pues sí, estamos muy bien. Creo que con las estructuras, súper, súper bien. Si sabemos identificarlas, pues sabemos usarlas también. Con los gerunds en infinitives, eh, lo mismo, es solo práctica ir sabiendo cuáles puedo utilizar con ing, which ones I am going to be using with an infinitive form. It's just practice, you know. At the end, you're not going to be thinking about the rules, definitions. Not really. This is just practice, okay? Así que cualquier cosa, Jocelyn, durante la clase, after the class as well. Just let me know, okay? Ejercicios in the platform también, si no sabemos cómo responderlos. Eh, aquí estamos, okay? Para ayudar en el proceso. Okay, Jocelyn? Okay, perfecto. Muchísimas gracias. Pase buenas noches. Igual. Mañana. See you tomorrow. Take care and good night. Bye. Bye-bye.